everybody. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Come on, put your hands together. We are live in the temple, in the sanctuary. You are hearing from Greater Works New Life Center, Greater Works Apostolic New Life Center, right in the heart of Inglewood, California. Amen. The city of champions. We are champions on today. Amen. And we just want to welcome you into our live, our virtual sanctuary. There are, um, there are some here that are live as well. We want to let you know that we are open. Our doors, amen, are open. So you can come in personally and experience um, the presence of God. Amen. Before we go into, uh, before we hear from our speaker, amen, that we are so eager to hear, we want to go before the Lord in prayer, so we're going to ask everyone to stand, amen, and if you have a prayer request, post it into the comments, we are going to give a time, amen, for you to call in, but we just want you to post in your prayer request, whether it's pray for my mother, pray for my Father, pray for me, oh God. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Put it in the, post it in the comments, and we definitely want to um, have our intercessors pray with you, and amen, that you receive the victory in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for today, oh God. We thank you for another chance. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace that has brought us thus far, Lord. We appreciate what you've done for us already, oh God, what you're doing right now and what you're going to do, oh God. Bless us on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we ask, oh God, to come, hallelujah, allow your presence to come and fill the room, fill the temple, oh God, but most of all, fill our hearts, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we need you now, like we've never need, like we've ever needed you before, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, oh God, to bless our mindset on today. Give us strength, hallelujah, yeah. to fight the good fight of faith, oh God. We thank you for going, in, hallelujah, into our homes, oh God, on our jobs, hallelujah. In our cars, oh God, we're going to take you with us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we not only want you into the sanctuary, oh God, but wherever we go, oh God, be with us. In the name of Jesus, because there is, hallelujah, there is evil everywhere, oh God. But if you're there, hallelujah, you said that you would shield and protect us. You told us that you would be our buckler, oh God, and our strength, oh God. Guide us on today, Lord. We thank you for starting our week off with you. Yes. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Set the tone, set the atmosphere, oh God, on our jobs. Set the atmosphere in our homes, oh God. Oh Lord, hallelujah. Set the tone in our relationships, in our marriage, with our families, with our sisters. Hallelujah. With our brothers, with our sons and daughters, oh God. Hallelujah. Raise up a nation, hallelujah, that is holy before you, oh God. Help us that we will be presentable, hallelujah, before you, a living sacrifice, oh God, that we can say, here am I, send me, oh God, hallelujah, cleanse our hearts and our minds and create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us, Lord. We thank you on today, bless the teacher, the speaker on today, the preacher on today, in the name of Jesus, oh God, send a word, send a word, send a word, send a word, hallelujah. For our spirits, for our minds, oh God. Yes. Hallelujah. Touch the hearts of me and those that are listening virtually, oh God. Go into where it go to wherever they are, oh God. And send your anointing in the name of Jesus, Lord, that they, they will see that there is a difference. Hallelujah. In their lives. And we thank you, we praise you. And everyone said in Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Somebody put your hands together. Hallelujah. 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 Turn, turn with me quickly to the book of Jeremiah. Hallelujah. I'm excited on today. Anybody excited about hearing the word of God? Hallelujah. Because it sets free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 20, 
9, and 11. Amen. Some of us would say this is a familiar scripture, but wherever you are, we just want to encourage you that God has your best. Hallelujah. He has your best in mind. Amen. Jeremiah 29 and 11 reads, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you an expected end. Amen. May God add a blessing to the hearers, but most of all, the doers of his word. Somebody ought to shout out and just say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah because he knows what's best. For us, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just excited on today because I want to give God my all. And I want to thank him for all that he's done for me. Amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together and somebody just say, I want to thank you forever and ever and ever.
go with our announcements, come forth with our announcements, amen. But put in the comments, I want to give him glory. Hallelujah. He did, he's done so much for you. Hallelujah. And he deserves the praise. Amen. Let's receive Sister Marquisha with our announcement. Somebody shout hallelujah as she comes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord to everyone. Amen. At this time, while I'm reading the announcements, we're going to do our offering. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We can sow a seed into the kingdom. You can log on to www.gwanlc.org. We have our platform where you can give. You can download the uh, the apps on your uh, from the app store from the Google Play, and you can download Givelify or Cash App or PayPal. Amen. We have those platforms, and you can give. Amen. The more, like I said, the more that you give, the more you be blessed. Amen. We want to thank and praise God for those who have supported this ministry. Amen. We have um, also, if you're not able to give electronically, we have a method you can send your check or money order to uh, our uh, our address, and that will be uh, PO Box 1066, Inglewood, California 90302, and that's where the works at the Solid New Life Center, um, and the PO Box is PO Box 1066. Inglewood, California, 90301, I'm sorry. Amen, we want to thank God for those who have supported. Also, uh, we have our California Northwest District Council, which will convene Friday, October the 8th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, October the 9th at 3 p.m. It will be held at Greater Bethlehem Temple Church, and the location is 1010 East High Park, Inglewood, California. Bishop Winston Singleton Sr. is host pastor. Amen. This is a leadership conference. Amen. Please stay tuned for more details. You can go to the website to see more information. And that will be www.cndconline.org. Amen. Also, like Minister Melissa said earlier, we are open. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you want to feel the anointing and feel the presence of God like what we're feeling now, please come and join us at 525 North Market Street in the city of Inglewood, the city of champions. We would love to have you and your family. God bless you. Also, if you are a YouTuber, and then we are building our brand, and we have our services in its entirety, if you're not able to see us, on Facebook Live, you can view our services on the YouTube channel, just in case you've missed it. Amen. So we want you to subscribe to our channel so that way you don't miss out on anything what God has for you. Amen. Our channel is up on the Greater Works Apostolic New Life Center Inglewood. Amen. Greater Works Apostolic New Life Center Inglewood. Please click the subscribe button. Amen. Also, every service that we have, we want you are welcome to engage in conversation. You can share and you can like our page. Amen. We want to share this information to your friends, your family, and your groups. We want to speak life to someone as always. Amen. We, uh, we have our worship services through this week. Today is Transforming Lives Consistently Sunday, which is TLC Sunday. Amen. We have our Christian education in person, not on, on virtual. That starts about 2 o'clock p.m. We do have classes for the children. If you're interested, please call or inbox your information and we will respond to your request. And then our main services, they are live, like we're doing now, Facebook Live and in person. And that starts about 3.45. We have Word of Tuesday, which is our Bible class, which is our Kingdom Concepts. That is also Facebook Live and in person. Amen. And that starts on Tuesday at 7.30. Amen. If you want to write us, if you need prayer, if you are in need of anything, please write us uh, our P.O. Box. It's P.O. Box 1066, Inglewood, California, 90301. God bless you. And we're going to turn this portion of the service into the hands of our pastor.
Let's check out a fourth five senior. Let us receive them by saying, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord to everyone. Amen. It gives me pleasure and honor to be in God's house one more time. Amen. We give honor to God and the Son, Jesus Christ, and to our Lady, First Lady, the, uh, Evangelist Valerie Fikes, uh, Aaron Fikes in his absence, uh, the ministers, Minister Melissa, and deacons, and uh, deacons' wives, and uh, Sister Marquisha, and all of you that are here today in person. Uh, I'm wondering when you leave here today, will we be there? Hmm. That was the question that I asked myself. When I leave God's house today, will there be a change for the better? Hmm. Now let us not get it twisted. Better is different from bitter. True. Better is different from bitter. And so, uh, I believe that God can change some things. How about you? Amen. I believe God can adjust my attitude yes. to accommodate my altitude. All right. All right. Hmm. How high can I go in God? Yes. He said, higher height and deeper depths. There's no height in God. And so, uh, we're going to try to do better. Isn't that right, church? Amen. We're going to try to do better. We're going to serve God with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our mind, all of our strength, and all of our soul. Now, when we do that, we can look for change. Yeah. True. Yeah. When we do this, yeah. God doesn't wait. He blesses you automatically. You, Instantly. When we do the right things. When we think the right way. When we act the right way. Yeah. Instantly. I say it because I know it. Instantly. Yeah. God blesses you. Not only does he bless you <clears throat> because we talked about it in our Christian education and I would admonish you to join us in our Christian education. Sometimes we do it in person and sometimes we do it virtually. But uh, I'm reminded that obedience mm -hmm. is better than anything you can give God. Yeah. Say amen. amen. And so we're learning that our relationship with God depends on our blessings. Now, I want to go a little further than that today. I want to go a little further than just being blessed. I want to have the favor of God. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. I want to be able to go to our God hmm. for anything. Anything. At any time. For any person. Come on now. Hallelujah. Now, we're not going to stop at go. We're going to go past go. And so, the favor of God is greater than the blessings. Now I can go to Him when I see a car coming my way. And I can say, Lord, help Jesus. Hallelujah. The car is defected. It no longer comes in my direction. I can go to the hospitals now. And I can lay hands on the sick. Amen. On my loved ones. With COVID-19. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
I can lay my hands on them. Yeah. In Jesus' name. And they recover miraculously. Recover. I can call out demons. Come on now. See, when I'm talking about favor now. Yeah, favor. I can call out demons in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. And they must go. They cannot stay. See, we got to go a little higher than the ceiling. We got to go a little higher and a little higher. Because uh, things are happening in our lives today that calls for a great big God. It calls for a God of your and my salvation. It calls for a compassionate God. Nobody has the answer to all these things that are happening today. Except God. Why don't we seek God? The Bible says, seek ye first. Seek ye first. The kingdom of heaven. And all of his righteousness. And he said, I'm going to add these things unto you. Favor now. I'm going to add, not subtract. Mm -hmm. This God believes in addition. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Lord. But you got to seek first the kingdom. And all of his righteousness. Mm -hmm. And so we were talking in uh, our class this morning about obedience. And how this plays a great part in our salvation. Obedience. And that, that word said that God saves those who are obedient to his word. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Well, Pastor Fikes, I'll, I'll, I'll run to the mountains. You know, people are trying to get away from this. Thing. Well, God is in the mountains. I'll, I'll go to the valley. I'll go to uh, Arizona, the valley. God is in Arizona, in the valley. He's only now present, omnipotent. He knows all things. And so, uh, I just want us to understand today that when we come to God's house, even when we stand in his presence, we should be better people, better Christians, men, women, boys, and girls. So, Thanking God for all of you that are in the viewing audience today. That was on my heart because some of us are missing it. Some of us are being um, misunderstood. See, when your relationship with God increases, you become peculiar. You become peculiar, not strange, not odd, but peculiar. You learn to love your enemies. Yes. Mm -hmm. You learn to pray for those who despitefully use you. You learn to forgive. Oh, Pastor, you just knocked it right out of the ballpark. We, we can't hold on to things that will cause us to miss heaven. Amen. You may not have heard what I just said. Amen. We
We cannot hold on to things that will cause us to miss heaven. Yes, yes. Things and stuff will cause you to miss heaven. And so somebody has to sound the trumpet. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to keep it 100. I thank God today for men and women who are united in the faith. I thank God today for his son Jesus Christ who is the author and the finisher of my faith. I thank God for men who stood in the gap and I was able to Take those same examples today to use to grow in God. I thank God today for a man you don't know, maybe. His name is Elect Bishop Henry King. A man who stood in the gap in our embryo stage. He was there to help greater works. And now he is, they tell me he's in transition. But we all know that life and death is in God's hands. But if this is the case, He's going to a better place. And I pray for his family, his wife, Evangelist King, his children. I pray that God will have his perfect way in this godly man's life. There's another Bishop, that I want to say something to or about Bishop Johnson, uh, way down in Tennessee. Uh, if he's listening, I want him to know that he has a family that's praying for him and his lovely wife. Amen. We're praying for you. We pray that God will bless you and raise you up like he always has. This is not your first rodeo. Hmm. Amen. He brought you out of a lot of things. I'm living to tell the story. Great men, women of God. We're praying for you too as well. All right. Let us get to the lesson today. We, we are experiencing so much in so little time. But the God that we serve says to redeem the time wisely. And uh, so what we're going to do is that we're going to go quickly to the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. Chapter number, I think, three. If you have a Bible, we want you to go there. Uh, I love this, this book because it teaches. Uh, it gives me insight and understanding. And one should be happy to gain insight and wisdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, Lady Fox, to be so kind as to start. Yes, and read for me. Please. My son, uh -huh. forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life 
and peace shall they add to thee. Oh, listen to this, church. And there, there are benefits. I know there's a lot of folks that are not where they should be. But we're supposed to tell them that this is greater than a 401k. All right. Hallelujah. We, we're, we're to tell them that this is greater than uh, Cal Fresh Social Security. It's telling us that if you keep my commandments, that your days will lengthen and that you'll have peace and that shall that add to thee. I want to ask the question, how many of us would throw a $20 bill towards peace? <laughs> Hallelujah. So I guess y'all don't want peace. I do. I, do. I do. See, 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 peace is when you can be in the midst of confusion. And I know today there's confusion everywhere. And God is not the author of confusion. Mm -hmm. And so, the peace that God is talking about today surpasses all understanding. It's peace beyond the understanding of peace. And I know that we all need peace yes, yes. on our jobs, I know that we all need peace in our homes. I know that we all need peace with our relatives. Come on, church. Peace now will precede you when you obey God. How simple is that? Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes. Read many first. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them around thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Oh my God. Somebody out there in the viewing audience was trying to figure out how can I gain favor? Favor and good understanding. Well, it says here that you and I should not let mercy and truth evade us. Mm -hmm. See, God's mercy is renewed every single morning. Yes, yes. And the word of it says this. It says, he that obtained mercy must first show himself merciful. And so we're looking at this and somehow or another we all need truth. There's so many lies out there, so many disinformation out there. We don't know who is telling the truth or not. But God said, let every man be a liar yes. and let God be true. Yes. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, now listen to this. And then it says that thou shalt find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. How much more do you need? Lord. When you have the favor of God and man. Hallelujah. Now let me explain something to you. Favor is not fair. I'm standing in a line that is a mile long. And then somebody takes me out of line and 
brings me all the way to the front of the line and tell me, Pastor Fikes, you're next. Now, somebody would oppose that. But that is telling you and I that favor is not fair. True. Hallelujah. Favor now. We're talking about favor mm -hmm. and good understanding yes. in the sight of God Amen. and man. Let's read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. No. Trust in who? My boyfriend. The Lord. Trust in who? My boo. Well. Trust in who? My best friend. Hmm. Trust in who? CNN News. Trust in who? Trust in the Lord. Yes. Glory. Trust in the Lord. And take my mind and sit it down. Lean not to my own understanding. Now some of us have problems with trust issues. Uh oh. Now I'm, I'm just talking this morning. Because my voice is a little hoarse, but I'm gonna still talk. <laughs> Some of us have trust issues. And, and so we don't trust nobody. Matter of fact, tell the truth, shame the devil, we don't even trust ourselves. <laughs> but the word of God says this, and if you are obedient to the word of God, he says that you'll have favor and not only in the sight of God, but in man too. So if I trust in the Lord yes. and lean not to my own understanding but acknowledge Him in all my ways. Now listen now. I'm not talking about sometimes because we got some sometime people up in here. I'm telling you but if you just acknowledge Him in all your ways all the time. Yes. Lord. All the time. Lord what should I do? Should I go or should I stay? Hey, trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all your ways. And He said something, I'm going to direct your path. I'm not going to be confused anymore. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm not going to be confused anymore because I'm not going to lean on my own understanding because I'm, I can shipwreck. But if I trust in you, Lord, yes. and I lean not to my own understanding, you'll show me which direction to go in. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. How good is that? This is the God that's showing us how to get out of this dilemma that we're all in. I'm trusting in you now, Lord. I'm putting all my faith in you, Lord. I'm not going to call up my best friend. I'm not going to talk to my boo about my situation. I'm going to call you. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. In all thy ways acknowledge God. And he shall direct. Now in path. Yes. Be made for us. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Hey, listen. Be teachable. Not unteachable. All right. Be teachable. Yes. I know you know something out there. I know you know something. But every day you can learn something new. Be teachable. And not be wise in your own sight. A man that counsels himself is not wise. Be teachable. It says that and fear 
God. Mm. Fear God. Reverence God. Yes. Honor God. Lift his name up. Yes, yes. That is fear. Fear God. Yes. And do what? And depart from evil. Yes. Paul said, when I went to do good, evil was always present. I'm going to tell you something. You can't get away from evil, but you can depart from it. All right. All right. Huh? I said, you can depart from it. You see, uh, it, it, what, what God is saying, I'm, I'm going to teach you how to be a righteous person in a perverse world that we live in. Yes. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to get my favor Lord. in a perverse world. Hallelujah. You have to depart from evil. That's not saying that the world has to become something else. He said, I must depart from evil. Yes, yes. Evil communication corrupts good men. Come on, church. If I was well, and it shall be work to my health. It shall be health to thy navel. And marrow to thy bones. You need all of that to live. Yes. It shall be mm -hmm. health to my navel and marrow to my bones. Mm -hmm. Something that I need desperately. Yes. Something that I can't buy at the store. Something that I can't. Uh, you can't give me as a gift as something that God gives you. And that's the Holy Ghost. That's God's Spirit that should dwell in all of us. And truly, what we really need is a double dose of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced now that if I honor the Lord with thy substance mm -hmm. and with thy first fruit of all thine increase, mm -hmm. he's going to he said. favor. See, I'm honoring God. See, you, we have to learn how to honor God True. with our substance. Hallelujah. With our increase. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Then he said, now I'm going to live in your days. And, and your health, this is going to be uh, health to your navel and marrow and to your bones. Mm -hmm. what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying, church, we have to begin to embrace this word of God. Yes. We're living beneath our means. And we don't have enough time to play around. Some of us are entering into the fall seasons. Come on. And some of us are entering into the winter seasons. Okay. So what shall we do? Mm -hmm. Redeem the time wisely and obey God yes. and keep his commandments. Yes. For this is the duty of who? Man. All men. Yes. God bless you. I know that you were waiting for a whole bunch of hiccups and a hoop to do and a whole bunch of this and that. But this is word up. This is word up. And you just embrace 
what we're just reading. And I guarantee, this comes with a guarantee that your life will be enriched. Some of you out there, you've gone together. You've run out of ideas. Have you tried God? Well, Pastor Fife, I've been to church. It's, it's different when you go to church and when church is in you. Have you been born again of the water and the spirit? Have you said enough is enough and I repent and forsake my sins. I need new life. Mm -hmm. See, you have to say these things. You, you can't think these things. You have to say these things. Lord, I need new life. And ask God for new life. According to Acts 2 and 38, it's on the way. Hallelujah. The word says this. That if you were to be baptized in Jesus' name mm -hmm. for the remission, the removal of your sins, that ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking with new tongues, as the Spirit of God gives you. Others. As the Spirit of God gives you speech, I am making an altar call for those who have an ear to hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. You know, um, no one. Heeded to the word of God. And because he did, not only he, but his whole family was saved. Don't you want your family saved? Amen. Don't you want to be saved? This is your opportunity. We will baptize you in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. And you're wise, listen to this, because a lot of folks have misunderstood this altar call. You rise to walk in the newness of life. How, have you ever experienced starting your life all over again? This is your opportunity. We're here to do the will of God, and that is to alert every man, woman, boy, and girl that Jesus is coming, and he's coming back for those who have obeyed his word, for those that have experienced new birth new life. We have men and women that will baptize you in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Come, let us walk together in new life. I can imagine some have given up, but where there is life, there is hope. And that's the reason why Jesus came, that we might have life, and that more abundantly. Today's lesson was, trust me, trust me. 
Trust God. Lean not to your own understanding. Be obedient to his word and his commandments and his statutes. And watch your life transform. I say this because it's true. And God is not a man that he should lie. So, with that being said, we thank God for all of you and the viewing audience, all those who are here in person, we thank God for you today and we pray and hope that you become better and not bitter. May God richly bless you and keep you. This is our prayer. And remember this. Whatever you do. And wherever you go. Take Jesus with you. God bless you. In Jesus name. Mm-hmm.